After we kind of went through design packages, we were doing a whole different color scheme. I was coming up with a business plan. We redid the product. We redid the website. Yeah, and a lot of it was like talking about like kind of bigger picture things like how would we be promoting it and like yeah. just getting foundational things set. Like yeah. The first moves just to get the business more established so you can have the foundation to, to make the content right and especially the website and things yeah like that. yeah and, and discussing kind of what our roles would be yeah and asking what do you want to learn what are you, know, you willing you, to do yeah when we were kind of finishing up with that part I knew that I wanted to come up with a product that wasn't so tarot based that was more spiritual guidance based I also knew that I was ready. I've been using the cards kind of as a crutch. I realized when I was reading people that yes, like the cards definitely helped me in readings, but also that my guidance was also valuable. And so it was kind of like getting hard to decipher like what's from the cards and what's from me. And then realizing that the stuff that I can give and the stuff that I've learned is just as valuable as a tarot reading. And I feel like a lot of times you had more to give, but the tarot cards restricted Almost you. Almost hinder. They gave you the message for you to then expand in a much more valuable and yeah. impactful way. And because you limited it to tarot readings, you didn't feel like you could overstep that boundary. Yeah, that's the whole thing with tarot readings is, you know, you're reading strangers, you don't really know much about their life, and you're getting this message from these cards, and you don't know how deep to go into the message. Are they really prepared to hear the truth? Because um, even me, like, I knew her, and I knew yeah. she, her potential was amazing, and whatever she could offer was going to be of Thanks. value to me, yes. It's true. But also, I didn't know what tarot was. I had no clue. <laughs> so I was yeah. like, tarot reading, sure, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. even going in, like, my first couple readings, I was like, what's this? This is fun. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I felt like Angie was just, like, there to kind of just get the awareness out of yeah. what the service can actually provide for you and the benefits of it. Right. But you have to know it and you have to be in the right mind frame in order to receive that and get the full benefit from it. Yeah, it's true. And... You know, while I love doing tarot readings and people asking me about this and this and this, I also realize like, even when people ask me some questions, I was like, you know, there's more that we can expand upon this because I can already tell that there's more things behind this that's deeper that you're on the surface. It was, it was just like a tease for Angie. And then they're like, cool, thanks, bye. And then yeah. they just carry on with their life. Yeah. But she just like just had this like, huge revelation yeah. for them and isn't able to do more from yeah. it unless they're like seeking it out or yeah, have unless they come back to me for like another reading right. or and whatever. And like, even then it's still under the parameters of like what they're willing right. to ask and hear. So I knew that I would be more of service if I could guide people, if I had more say in the guidance, will not be so restricted on their right. questions with the cards. Right. It was so enlightening and had so much potential, but it's just like tapping the potential. It's just like, yeah. it's just like opening the bottle. Like, yeah. here's your tarot reading, open the bottle, but the good stuff's all inside. Yeah, you gotta go and get the like deep really stuff. Deep like, in. Do you want to do yeah. some work? Right. Do you want to see some some changes? Right. And so I knew that... You gotta go more. Yeah. And so I knew that that would involve me working with people for longer periods of time yeah. and having multiple either tarot readings with them or multiple sessions with them. Even me and you, best friends, we still are uncovering stuff about each other because yeah. of this. I knew that I had a bigger product that I needed to come up with mm -hmm. and I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And I also knew that normally I'm a lot like you like where if the energy is flowing and if I I'm like oh I should seize this moment and I should just get this product out here and just start doing it but I normally would have done that and I've done that so many times before that I knew that it would probably be more beneficial if I just halted everything and took the time for the product to come to me like really surrendered yeah yes. even though like I did not want to because Everything was going so well with us, right. and I wanted to keep that going. Right. But I, I honestly couldn't. No. I just didn't right. know. There was not an answer. You could not take an action. Yeah. It wasn't there. It wasn't ready. You had to stop. Yeah. Even within that month, like, she was throwing around different, bigger offerings to play around with. And you did, like, the three tarot readings over three months. Like, this is really that, awesome. Yeah. I want more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it just never really set. Just taking that time away was yeah. so important. And so we like, stepped back yeah. for like two months. Yeah. We didn't do anything. We hung out a yeah. lot. She yeah, came we up still with more ideas <laughs> all the time. We talked. You had like 
a really, really big picture idea, like you wanted to get into retreats, but you needed more stepping yeah, more stones steps. to get to that point. You couldn't yeah. just jump into a retreat. Right. You had to build that up. 